Hello, my love bugs. Once again, it is your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart, for I am just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's see what we got going on in the energy. Oh, I got a feeling if I call on something by some energy, it's going to be pretty crazy. Pretty karmic. Let's see what's going on. Someone could be sick. Uh, but I'm also hearing someone's sick and that's causing them misfortunes because you were supposed to be sick and you're healing, you're recuperating at this moment. You could have isolated yourself away from a lot of people, a lot of situations. You're balancing out your, like I'm here, I'm getting internal balance. Okay, you're balancing out things for yourself. This just fell in my lap. Someone, maybe a relationship someone wants to give to you. Someone wants to <clears throat> throw something in your lap. Or maybe someone was trying to throw some in your lap. Boom. Oh, wow. Somebody might have been trying to give you an STD, child. When it said throw some in your lap, they might have been trying to throw it in the bag, honey, is what I heard. But I also hear somebody's trying to throw maybe some evidence on you. Maybe someone, you have recuperated and isolated yourself from a group of people, right? And I guess, you know, nine out of ten, these people could have took the life of someone else. And they wanted you, they tried to hide it, maybe tried to bury the evidence. I see this 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 blanket over somebody. So maybe they tried to bury this evidence. Um, they could have possibly tried to cause you some health problems, ruin you and bury you. But I'm getting someone was trying to throw something in your lap. Maybe they were trying to come to you and give you some sort of offer and then plant evidence on you. And they missed an opportunity to do so. This card was trying to flip around. Yeah, they missed an opportunity to do so. They were blocked. Okay, you could have been blocked because you have your guard up. You're isolated. They can't get to you and you rejected this offer. It could also be your spirit team helping you reject this offer because they could have tried to send you an offer in your dreams in order for you to allow them into your, you know, present. And that didn't work. Yeah, man, these people wanted to get you boxed up, bro. They did something to somebody and they tried to say that you did it like you had some sort of fit, some sort of mental health relapse. Uh, what's it? Relapse? They tried to say you was crazy. Somebody tried to play you like you were crazy. Someone tried to go and tell somebody else you were crazy and they did something to another individual, probably caused them a death, caused them an ending. Um, for some of y'all, it could have been like a business endeavor and that would have, you know, stopped a lot of money, stopped a lot of traffic and business for somebody. I don't know, but somebody tried to plant some evidence on you. I'm hearing those situations is for everybody. So if you've been listening to readings and you had a reading about somebody trying to plant evidence on you because they took someone's life and they want to drag you down with them and take you to jail with them. OK, that's what this person wants to do. They want you sick. They want you in jail. That's the only way they can trap you because I'm guessing they're going to be sick and in jail. This is someone from your past, someone who maybe tried to cause you some ruin and they missed an opportunity to do it again. But I'm picking up very much off of a dead body. So we're going to get into why I'm picking up on this dead body in just a moment. Queen of Wands, King of Cups, yeah, somebody from your past, they wanted to cause you ruin, all right? Or this could possibly be a Queen of Wands that wanted to cause you ruin because of a King of Cups, somebody of your past that wanted to give you another opportunity. I'm hearing railroad somebody, cause the death of somebody, and then it's going to end up putting somebody in jail behind it, and they want to attach you to it, too. So it's like this Queen of Wands got this plan. But she's very jealous of you. She's very jealous maybe because this person in your past want to come back to you and start a new cycle with you, even though you close the cycle, okay? I'm hearing psycho. So these two people could possibly be psycho. They could be obsessed and worrying about you, okay? This woman could have wanted you sick, caused you some sort of problem, and then they wanted to put you in jail. They couldn't make you sick, okay? You recuperated, you didn't heal. They know that you healed. Maybe this person likes to do drive-bys, drive past your house, maybe check your social media, still see if you're active, see if you're dead or not, and you're not. Okay, this could have been a dead body she was trying to hide, or she was trying to hide her plot. Um, um, to, to make you that dead body and make you disappear, okay? She could have possibly been doing it by trying to send this King of Cups back into your energy. At least she thought she was sending him back into your energy to try to take your life from you. This man's been had other plans. He wanted to start his life over with you. All right, the fact that I'm still reading and as I'm reading the child abducted little, uh, what is that? The little notification you get on the phone when the child been abducted. Uh, it pissed me off. One reason, because I thought I cut that shit off my phone so I wouldn't be receiving no stuff like that. But for two, maybe this person had a plan to try to abduct your child, y'all. I was just reading away. Um, let me see. I think the last thing that y'all heard on there was I was saying he was tricking her and he had a, a whole other plan to come towards you. But she was trying to do something to sabotage him. See, a gnat just threw in my face. She threw... <sighs> 
it was like the cars was basically saying they was coming in to take opportunities from you because you used to help them in the past you know if they had days where they couldn't pay for stuff you would show up for them if they had stuff you know that nobody would uh help them with you would show up for them and they need that same energy now they're lacking both of these people miss your energy they need your energy they want to siphon off your energy but they work together to get somebody to sabotage you and at this point they didn't want you to find uh, what i'm getting now is they didn't want you to find out about these secret things that they were doing they working together against you like i said this moon car all these secrets all these people that they work with behind your back it's like somebody work with them the three people of the three people were working together two of these people could possibly be a pisces because of this moon card they were working together against you because they didn't want you to spiritually elevate or as you were spiritually elevating they were watching you and they didn't like that but now since that 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 message popped up something made me look up maybe uh someone's looking you up maybe they have someone trying to come and sabotage you that is looking you up so that they can abduct your child this person is going to come to you like a knight in shining armor supposedly and then you're going to believe everything he says become a fool or or he's going to start putting things in your drinks, doing certain rituals to defeat you. And then they may try to traffic your child, tra traffic you as well. Um, I'm hearing that these people want to do some pretty nasty things to you because they feel like that is just, okay? So, um, uh, all right, I'm going to try to say it. Uh, they feel like you deserve a good um, R-A-P-E-N you deserve a good one of those somebody who wants to beat you and cut you and do that stuff to you and shoot you up with drugs somebody wanted you to wake up with like a finger cut off somebody wanted you like literally drug you kidnap you have you wake up some weird place and then like you wake up with a finger missing like some saw shit like somebody really wanted to torture you nine out of ten this is a dumbass that likes to watch tv could have been this feminine that tried to send this masculine towards you you know they like to watch movies like uh you know nasty movies about people who have to go through sexual traumas and things like that they enjoy movies like that like pressures and shit they think it's cute maybe this person likes to watch when people get done that way in uh movies um this is a sick individual and i'm getting this is a sick ass female this is this what this female has been raised around and what this female thinks is this is okay and and it, i'm hearing impotence and is a punishment for impotence is what i'm hearing so i don't know maybe they think that you know i don't know but this dumbass here this woman she likes to watch snapped and movies like that and like i said this woman laying down there can't help herself this man defeated her somebody's trying to send someone in to literally sleep with you hurt you and then kidnap your child these are some people you walked away from maybe that's why this woman beefing like that because you walked away from her and she ain't number skin and bone she has no life to her all right she ain't worth a damn she lazy um and this woman just wanted to end everything for you because she was jealous of you and she can never measure up to you she felt like even though she had no business measuring but she felt like she could never measure up to you so she had to knock you down the size instead of deciding to get off her dumb ass and go do what she needed to do for herself she decided to try to cause an ending for you and now she has an ending to her also she could have possibly told this masculine you like to sleep around with a lot of people just to get money and you are a snake and you have an std maybe this masculine was it oh the damn devil she wanted to cause some sort of conflict between you and your masculine when y'all was in a relationship together right so if you was with this masculine and all of a sudden he would have like health problems like let's say his mouth would break out or something would be like like uh was it hair bumps you know his his private would break out it's because this woman and maybe some other people were doing spells maybe your family were doing spells in the background to try to stop this man from loving on you because he was loving on you correctly in the first in the first round you know what i'm saying could have been a rough situation both of y'all was karma but y'all supposed to work together y'all had a lot of passion for each other and y'all supposed to work together this masculine at least pretended to, to do that and uh for you know however long this person still had karmic ties and his karmic tie was being a cheater going around sleeping with a lot of people so he ran across uh this feminine and i guess she hit him up online they could have possibly been messaging i'm looking at her looking at a lot of different pictures trying to see who he's talking to where he at maybe going through your options and exes and trying to fi figure out the best ex i'm hearing she did some sort of spell to uh maybe it was something she fed you or something she gave you or some sort of spell for you just like spill the truth out maybe you admitted to her that or some sort of spell while you were asleep to make you spill the truth out and maybe you admitted to her that this might have been a you know one of your most important relationships but you know it wasn't like you were trying to invest yourself back into that relationship you cut it off because it caused a lot of problems for you but it caused problems because this feminine was doing it all right she also hit this masculine up online and was telling you that you were a whore you 
you had this going on, that going on, pretending to be very positive. He needed someone positive in his life at the time, maybe when they were causing him turmoil. So she reached out to him, okay? I'm hearing clickbait. She reached out to him after she caused him problems, told him that you had an STD and all them health ailments he had was because of you, told him you was doing witchcraft on him. And she, this had to be somebody that was close to you because this woman was confirming what well, he believed it. He believed that maybe this was a family member. Maybe this was somebody you consider family or friend. And he believed everything this woman fed him, but it was the things that she was doing to help him um, stay illusioned, okay? This woman was a part of a plot. Like I said, she was just a pawn in a play. Somebody else was orchestrating all of this, but she was playing her part and she felt like she was doing good because she didn't like your ass and she wanted to be the one to take you out. She wanted to be the one to wear the crown. She wanted to be the one to have success. She wanted to be the one, maybe she was jealous of how masculines treated you. Maybe when they got with you, they didn't treat you like they treated everybody else. I'm hearing this guy was pretty chaotic when he was with everybody else, but when he was with you, he kind of calmed down a little bit. That's what people didn't like, but she did a lot of magic on him or whatever and finally got her chance. Uh, she did a lot of sex magic or whatever after she was trying to do magic on y'all because like I say, his private part may have broke out from like, uh, what is them, them, them pubic hair bumps? What's they call y'all? Ingrown hairs is what I heard. Yeah, ingrown hairs. Okay, so uh, he could have ingrown hairs and some stuff going on. I'm hearing bacterial infection in his mouth or some weird shit. And he had it going on. And you was thinking, like, I don't know how you got all this going on because you ain't get. Y'all, I don't know where the fuck this stinking ass net came from. This net is all in my face and all in my mouth. So whoever this is watching and waiting, hoping and wishing they can hear something in the reading, I don't know why you obsessed. You already fucked up in the deal, bro let it go <laughs> you can't be yeah like you already told me yourself stop listening to readings that's why this energy is being picked up repeatedly because your ass keep watching you already know your 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 your, your fate is sealed okay but anyways back to the collective explaining what's going on okay this woman did all this shit behind your back to play in your face with this masculine because they wanted you feeling like you were suffering they thought that you well they were they brought an ending to some sort of ten of pentacles that you were supposed to have a divine union that you were supposed to have because this person felt like she was a slut and she could never find a masculine and love her or she would never have a masculine and love her she probably was raised by this family to feel that way because it's looking like that's how they wanted you to feel that's why they said a good r-a-p-e-n because they feel like that's just punishment for somebody I, these people are sick as hell these people are sick as hell and yeah it had to be out of this family or this people you call family community or whatever because they were doing magic on you trying to manifest what you had okay trying to block this relationship and take a relationship because she thought the man come with the money so let me steal the man so that i can get the money again dumbass she had to be watching lifetime tv one bet all the black struggle movies all the struggle movies here and i'm getting you know like this person really is just focused on tv and living in a dream but back to that pisces energy most definitely could be a pisces energy that you happen to leave out in the cold because these people are living in a dream weird okay these people are dreamers and they want to manifest heavy burdens for you because they've done it in the past like this woman just really feel like you don't want to be my friend no more i'm gonna bully you because you should want to be my friend like this person focused so much on you whole house falling apart she ain't basing her ass i'm telling you if she was married to this man they ain't married no more all right she got the hot pants all right left out in the cold and heavily burned because he want to get a divorce from her because she probably got something that she can't wash off with soap and water this man is trying to move off the common waters because yes man he got his he got his guard up to her. I'm telling you, this girl got some sort of STD. Because she was sleeping around town with everybody in the world. This girl got an STD. She can't wash off a cup of so soap and water. And when I say soap and water, I mean that is the antibacterial type of uh thing to do to clean a wound or clean something that's nasty she cannot clean it off it cannot be cleansed it cannot antibiotics can't help her you know what i mean like shit like that something in the iv can't help her this is something that she's going to have for the rest of her life and she's depressed about it she's depressed that this mask and left her and her house fell apart the house that she thought she built off of false pretenses she's also upset that you're going to have an ultimate happiness in a family with a masculine because you know exactly what they were doing to you and you won't allow them in your energy you probably about to get married you're really probably about to be taken care of okay what it is is this woman is really upset because the prophecy she tried to stop is still going to be fulfilled she stopped trying to stop you from getting in a divine union whatever with this family or this community they did not want you getting in a divine union because they would not be able to pull from your energy and make you suffer and feel like a bottom feeding bitch like they feel okay this woman felt like that you need to be the one sleeping around in third parties she needed to be the one you know what i'm saying like 
I, uh, she just wanted to switch lives with you because she didn't have the confidence like you had and she wanted to break down your confidence well along with this whole group of people wanting to break down your confidence even this masculine wanted to break down your confidence because he didn't want you going off nowhere else he wanted you waiting on his thinking ass and i'm saying thinking because i'm thinking something's coming out of his pores okay he invested a lot into maybe trying to cause you endings yeah in relationships and all that shit and now he didn't realize that the whole time he trying to cause you endings is because i don't know it's like maybe he worked hard to try to cause you endings in relationships to have you upset have you, like I said, waiting, but this person is very upset because they work with the devil. They feel like they work with the devil. They feel like they changed their own fate. They feel like when they chose this woman, they fell from grace. Um, Even if they, yeah, fell from grace, damn, this person fell from grace and you didn't, all right? So this person worked hard behind the scenes to try to find a way to come toward you behind this devil back. And she kept seeing him, kept catching him because she was spiritually spying as well. She feels like it's her justice to have this masculine because she worked hard for this masculine. And again, she stole this man. She stole this man. And I'm hearing she, she, she likes that. She likes men that like men. Okay. She likes men that like men. I heard that because she put... Her and somebody else worked together to put something in this masculine drink to drug him. And he possibly uh, may have slept with... See, I'm telling you to have him like extra, extra horny. This man probably could have slept with a tranny or this man could have slept with another man. This woman said she was using that as blackmail against this person. He is upset about it because something deep down in him likes it. So it's probably like a sex demon or whatever. Because this woman is acting in an energy like she got a sex demon. She has to be attached to someone who's attached to you. Okay? <sighs> But they possibly, you know, got this man on some drink, got this man on some drugs, got him feeling real good and tricked him with a feminine. Got, look, I'm telling you, she's sending that message that she'll tell. I'll show this person this. I'll show this person you like me. And I'll show this person you still talking to that trendy. I'll show this person you doing this if you want to come in. And I'm telling you, like, she she, she can't stop him from wanting to come toward you because he's spying on you. He still want to juggle both of y'all. Okay, it's, it's like I said, that's why I had to be a sex demon because this man claims he wants to get away. It's something that's begging to get away from this woman, but he can't get away from this woman. And he can't because of the love bind that they have together. The shit that he did and whatever adventurous, I'm telling you, after he slept with this tranny or slept with whatever, he kept going back and this woman got proof. This woman got proof and she said that she's going to blackmail this man or he's going to have to keep paying her or he's going to have to keep sleeping with her. That's even most, that's, that's even worse. She's telling this man he's going to have to keep sleeping with her. And if he don't, if he if he stops sleeping with her and giving her money, because she always begging for money, sleeping with her and giving her money that she's going to expose and that's what he did. She don't want to stop. She don't, she don't, she don't want to get out of this relationship or this marriage or whatever it is with this man. I told you, baby mama, uh, wife, whatever, this whole don't want to get out of it. She want money. So she want to stay connected to him. All right. She's upset that a king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, ace of pentacles, and queen of cups. She's upset that this masculine is leaving her despite the messages that she keeps. Okay, so, oh, he's sleeping around with other people. He's sleeping around with other people. He gossiping with other people. Like, he's moving on. But it's kind of like he got to hide, maybe in a wooded area. Or if he travel, he got to, like, be on guard because of this woman. Because of the things she keeps trying to do to get money. Because of holding him back, five of pentacles, because she's in a lack uh right now and she feels like she the one that's supposed to be with him and she deserved to get the money i don't know like maybe this man decided to bring some money he got off and, and, and come back over there to you i don't know but on the good side is you got a king of pentacles coming in to give you an opportunity this woman know that she know that you and this king of pentacles gonna get some money so what she wants to do is she want to come and play she want to come and pretend like she your friend she needs some help you give her an opportunity or open the door for her to get back in your energy and then this masculine find out she get the victory because he gonna come back to her and be fake with her again and work against you because you got a dude meanwhile she gonna try to trick your dude into sleeping with her this woman crazy like i said she be watching the movies and shit she be watching that movie obsessed you hear me that's what I'm hearing, okay? Um, let's see. This Queen of Cups will be won't be receiving nothing. She sabotaged herself because she was too focused on you moving forward. All right. Hierophant. So you're the hierophant. 
uh, this Ace of Cups you got. Yeah, Ace of Cups and then the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. So you're the Hierophant. You had nothing but love or you always have nothing but love for people. All right, you still, like, is it like if you get something, you'll pour out and give it to others. If you get spiritual knowledge, you'll give it to others. You get money, you'll give it to others. And that is what the Holy Spirit needs, someone to be generous, to give love out. And that's why you're in this Hierophant energy. You're blessed, you're initiated. You're a part of the celestial beings, the upper realms, the archangels, um, because of your hard work and determination throughout all this deceiving that was going on behind your back no matter how many times these people tempted you you didn't take the bait you didn't whoop on nobody's ass you didn't you know because i'm getting these people wanted to try to work against you um to make you you know stay attached to them in a the karmic cycle fighting going back and forth fighting with her beating her up sleeping with him then you become all snakish and you sleeping with him behind her back knowing that they still attached and you being fake with her like she just wanted to switch energy with you she weird but you got this ace of cups okay your cup is overflowing um you already is what sitting in success or sitting in a successful energy um someone's gonna come to you and give you this extra cup to give you this ultimate happiness in a relationship because you earned it you didn't play games with your karmics you didn't play games with people that were supposed to stop you from moving forward in life that's why they're hung up on it they're stuck in purgatory they're still trying to send magic your way or at least try to get some insight on you and spy on you so they can figure out how to attack you because they know you're balanced you got life working out for you you have healed they can't reconcile with you and come back around heartbroken this man says heartbroken because he can't come back around and be at least your friend okay this person's still trying to be fake as hell it's like he got two personalities y'all i ain't gonna lie i feel so much energy like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but then there's some energy like i'm sorry but i still want to hope okay so boom he said he's sorry he dead ass serious about that like sincerely he's dead ass serious he's sorry about everything that happened about switching up on you and he do want to get back together with you but on the flip side holy spirit said yeah he want to get back together with you he want to heal but he want to heal and go off to get another hoe he don't like that one <laughs> i'm here you know i don't want your bitch come get your hope okay so whoever this person took her from or maybe this was a friend of yours he claimed he don't want this bitch no more somebody come get her maybe he talking to an ex of hers and telling him hey come get your bitch i don't want her i'm here it could be a baby daddy he going around remember i told you he was going around talking to other people doing this thing telling everybody he don't want to be with this bitch i don't know y'all keep hearing the b word that's what she is is that your chick but y'all know in that song she said the b word okay so i don't know she out here stalking I just killed my ex. I Somebody is trying to get some insight on how to hurt this masculine because he wants to come toward you and they're unstable going through material loss because they're again they're lazy as hell and so they're waiting to see if somebody maybe they were in a connection with in the past can rob this man or make him have to fight for his life because she is causing illusions that he's doing things to her behind her back to get somebody else to come toward him so that she can get victory and justice by taking his life wow she feels like she'll be able to work with the courts or in the court or with some third party to get this man's money so she kind of want to take this masculine out. He running from her, but she want to take this masculine in life so that she can get some insurance money. It's like this is what people around her do. Um, so she felt like she was looking for another plan. She went and maybe sent a message to somebody and told them that she was having problems with this man. He was leaving and going to come toward you. And that'd be she'd be damned if that happened. She is baby mama. She is wife. He need to be over there. That's what she told this practitioner. Or that's what she told somebody who about to rob this man. Or at least try to rob this man. But he keep getting away. He getting away, and he, as he's getting away, he's being awakened. But it's kind of like he can't go too far away because he want to keep track on you. He want to see what you're going, which is causing him problems. Both of these people could also be doing spiritual magic on each other, fighting back and forth. Sheesh. This man said he's standing his ground. He ain't about to let this woman take him over. I only got the whole deck and I'm shuffling. Let's see what's going on. What's up with this body? Was it the collective that was supposed to be the body? Yes or no, Holy Spirit? Somebody else hear the body. Somebody hear the body, bro. Somebody hear the child's body behind a home. Somebody might have buried. I think I did a reading on this in the past. Somebody buried a child's body uh, in the backyard. And this is something that they didn't want nobody to know. This is something maybe they didn't want you tapping into your spiritual gift so that you will find out. They have a child. Damn, I said that on the YouTube like that was just normal. But hey, police, if you're watching, loves, go go see about these people backyard. I'm telling you, something happened. Somebody was heartbroken. Somebody may be heartbroken. They don't understand what's going on. Maybe what happened with this child? This may be one of the reasons why this masculine got his guard up to this feminine. I heard one of the reasons. Because I'm telling you, she didn't get this man an STD. 
Blue Star Unlimited Potential. She tried to do some sort of sacrifice with a child. Maybe, uh, oh my gosh, they had a child together or she had a child with somebody else and she tried to get rid of the child. I'm hearing ritual abortion. She did it herself in some sort of ritualistic, sick-ass way. Maybe to try to make this man, oh, wow. This woman never wanted this man to leave. So she did a ritualistic sacrifice and had a, a ritualistic abortion or whatever uh, in her in her home, somewhere in her bathroom. Maybe she could have forced herself, punched herself in the stomach, fell downstairs, drunk bleach. This is no cap. Or drunk something that a practitioner gave her to abort this child, to make her pass this child. She passed the child, took it out the toilet. Y'all, this is a triggered turn. Took it out the toilet and went and buried it in the backyard in a grocery bag or in a jar. In a jar because it was a satanic sacrifice. In order to... God, fuck. Fuck. Because it was a satanic sacrifice. In order to make this masculine stay in love with her forever. She tried to get rid of this child. But how was she going to... And bind herself to this man? But someone's hidden knowledge on the situation. Yeah, like he found out that she was doing this. Maybe he caught her doing this. Maybe he heard she was doing this. Or he... I don't know, but he knows that this woman did this. And that's another reason why he like, I'm not dealing with this crazy broad. I'm not dealing with this crazy bitch. So that's another reason why she's flipping out. Because she's like, no, you supposed to be binding to me forever. I guess that's a satanic bind that they do. But I feel like this baby that she did that to, she fucked around and did it to the wrong person. It's like, this woman sleeps around. She thought it was his baby. But it wasn't his baby. And she was trying to get rid of it to put it in the backyard to bind him to her forever. I'm hearing lost children spirits always look for their parents. So she felt like if she had this lost child spirit in the backyard, it would always look for him and she could always find him. Using this lost child spirit like a monitoring spirit. This bitch is dark, bro. Or whoever told her that shit dark, this hoe is, oh, well, hey, this hoe is being haunted by this child. She sees this child in her dreams. This child is still growing. Y'all know this is my card for Mars. All right, I know this may not be Mars. What is this, a sun card? But this is someone on a, on, a, on a red terrain. This is someone looking from Mars. This woman could have been in a breeding program and did some sort of ritual with the child that she had in this breeding program. Y'all, this is wild. But she was trying to keep this man fucking around and kept the wrong man, wrong baby, wrong deal. I'm hearing deal or no deal. She chose the wrong way. Y'all, let me get another deck. Hold on. All right, let's get some. What I told y'all had incense on the cards what i told y'all monitoring spirit listen doing death spells maybe even with your brothers okay so this is a person that was a part of your family or you consider family this person was doing death spells on you with your brothers trying to hex your finances your ancestors whooping their ass look at that judgment card heavy on the whooping they ass all right they were preparing war they were preparing war with you preparing for war with you what else this woman dark bro You had a spiritual elevation. That's what they was hating on. Reincarnated pirate. This is someone who's been stealing from you lifetime after lifetime and been stealing your fucking divine masculine. And she lost this go around and she hot. She was doing death spells while she was pregnant. That's why she had to get rid of that baby because that baby had some. <gasps> okay, look. She was doing death spells while she was pregnant with this baby anyway. That's why this baby was suitable for this thing that she did in her bathroom and in the backyard. Because I hear the baby didn't even come out right, y'all. I heard the baby came out with fire and brimstone. This baby came out maybe... Uh, she was real upset because she couldn't rub this pregnancy that she had in your face. She was doing death spells on you while she was pregnant. And this baby came out unfinished and deformed. It was like even if the baby would have stayed in her body, the baby's life was halted. I think she was siphoning energy from you some sort of way in your dreams. And that's how she was supporting or her body was supporting this child. Um, and the child just stopped growing. She lost her energy supply. She was freaking out. So she got rid of the child because she didn't think the child would accept he would accept the child also she uh wouldn't be able to rub the child in your face it would be proof that she was doing shit that she didn't need to do however this child would have came out and uh sheesh all right that was that stolen money she thought she was taking your generational wealth your ten of pentacles maybe she was trying to take your ideas take your image take all that shit it shall be returned to you my love and it's gonna come with even more than what she took 10 times more than what she took you could have considered this person a sister you could have uh considered somebody who was her 
her sister cool sister sister in law these people hired a private investigator on you all right to find out who you were in a divine partnership with so she can come home and throw this nasty ass cootie mama on him all right you have a stalker that's a male that was being greedy that wanted everybody's cootie mama and he called himself uh going out there and sleep with everybody but he didn't want to let you go because you were going to have this ten of pentacles divine partnership this relationship this person was greedy okay so this person has been also doing things maybe to get money baby both of them were being greedy to get money to take things from you um when someone hired this private investigator the the tables turned shit switched on them come to find out the private investigator found out that they were the ones that uh were harassing you doing shit to you trying to set you up um he kept it to himself at first because he may have been working with one of these sister energies for a while like i said i'm really picking up this is a sister of this sister so let's say she had a brother that got married this is like her sister-in-law or some shit they was all working together as sisters probably with another sister too and i know this might make somebody mad but this is what i heard the dyke so i know that sounds so messed up but that is what i heard somebody in the spirit team from the back hollered the dyke so it feels some sort of way but it may be another butchy female three females okay oh, look i'm holding up too lord have mercy bro man from the fifth flow maybe somebody was slow i don't know but it was two of them that was really making moves and a third one that was just tagging along or maybe it was two sisters working against you uh two sisters both of them could have been sisters and they was working together with you with this stock uh this 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 stalker this man this one that want to come back towards you that left you for her oh wow okay somebody's father could have violated them and these people had something to do with it like i said this whole family this could have been just a filthy side of your uh other side of the family that wanted to come and interject into your life somebody got a failed court case this stalker this male might be going to jail or uh, the rest of these people might be going to jail as well one of these women want to take their own life they know they're going to be in poverty they have they took an offer to get some money uh from the ops and they sacrificed a the parent all right and they was trying to put poison in your food okay boom so this is how this is coming out look how the car is laid right here your sister so these could have been people that are sisters themselves or they consider you consider with sisters but these people know they're gonna have 10 years in poverty one of these sisters was the one that was trying to take everything from you your man or whatever this one and this one could have co-conspired co to put poison in your food or try to put poison in your food and you still alive these people did this to a parent of theirs and they sacrificed a parent both of these sisters could have sacrificed a parent that way okay <clears throat> whoever this is that took money from these people to go against you which was probably this masculine he watches you he looks at whatever social platform you have he grows from your post maybe that's how he's learning that he was a divine masculine and he got tricked and he want to come back over there and he feel like he got tricked out of spot but you still fucking filthy so you gonna have to lay in the bed with these demons like you've been doing you lost that job you lost that uh that that spiritual elevation holy spirit say my boy that is no longer that is no longer valid for you okay that whole situation is null and void you cannot be a divine person anymore so what all right this messenger could have had some old olympian bloodline and um uh, now he's possessed so like i said he fell from grace okay is there anything else i need yep somebody got some shit they want to talk hold on let me get another deck all right let's see <clears throat> i saw money spells of course with the hex and finances all right i know he hate i'm his baby mama and for that i make him suffer i make him take pics with me just to piss you off all right the sex was the only thing that was good so like i said they was tied together for sex tied together for a sexually uh i hear her sexually transmitted demon but that's how they were tied to each other binded to each other uh by passion and sex that's why she ended up with this information probably that he was sleeping with this man and you know she allowed him to be himself i don't know he might feel more free that way I don't know all right i pretend to be someone i'm not just to keep them she was pretending to be your ass i slept with your sibling on purpose possibly like i said it could have been one of these feminines that you called a sister or it could have been your sister or some kin to you or whatever they talk shit about you to anybody that'll listen so they was pillow talking talking shit about you like i said all right if no one can have them i mean well if they can't have this masculine then she feel like nobody can they thought you were an easy target and that ain't even supposed to be in this deck so that means i need to pick up that deck but they thought you were an easy target for some love spells that he would you were gonna let this masculine back in your energy um she feel like even if she gotta pay this masculine to keep doing spell work on you or keep like it's just like this masculine i don't know he'll do anything for money so she keep paying him to try to rob you all right pill popper drug abuser maybe when he get lifted or maybe when he get on them drugs he be wanting to hurt you he want to you know do love spells on you or do weird shit let me go ahead and get this other deck real quick y'all you wonder why i gotta keep pausing it's because i got my decks in a different position i don't have the same table or desk as i had in my last office i got a little different setup now with the table so i don't have as many uh what's some things called places for my cards and stuff right next to me all right thought you were an easy target how'd you get her obsessed and needs to control you 
this woman want to know somebody want to oh no this masculine want to know uh because he was trying to come back in your energy and i guess that's what okay boom what really triggered this masculine to not work against you was his ego because he found out when he tried to target you again to come back towards you like everybody wanted him to you had a different masculine you submitted completely to a different masculine this man knew you would never submit to him and that's why he was jealous of you because this woman fake like she was submit that's what she's taught to do fake submission poison him get rid of him and then spend their money so that's what she's trying to do to this masculine um and he thought that you were gonna be an easy target to come back through and trick you because she told him some shit like y'all was gonna get paid off of it or like i said he was gonna come in try to hurt you and they hurt your child um he was upset because he found out that you submitted and gave yourself completely to another masculine in the spiritual and it's about to come together in the physical and that's why he's upset. That's why he wants to control the situation. He was trying anything to hurt you. They could have sent him in to hurt you. Like I said, take your life from you and then, you know, kidnap your child. I heard your brothers were snakes, so if you had some brothers, they possibly were going to add in on this situation. Like I said, it's a family member you don't fuck with, child. This masculine is overly emotional, right back to that Pisces energy and the lower vibration. Too, trauma too traumatized to love, wants to hurt your lover, all right? They want you to be a trick. They want you to stay a third party, but with to this feminine that lives to see you fail, all right? He slept with this woman uh, just to op you. I mean, just to op you. He slept with the op just to spite you because he never really liked you. He was jealous of you because he, you wouldn't submit to somebody like him, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with that. As a divine feminine, as a feminine trying to get on her divine shit, you don't submit to no weak-ass man, okay? You find you a man-man, not a little-ass boy with a motherfucking complex, all right? Something about he don't like his mama. And this woman remind him just of his mama, so he searches for her love. That's what she doing. She hooking up to him with these traumatic experiences that he had with a mommy. Um... He feels like he never had a mother that loved him. Maybe you loved him like a mother and he didn't believe it. Now he back over here with this bitch who act just like his drunk ass horrible mama. That's what I'm hearing. All right. And she, yeah, worked against you with the family member because they want to see you fail. It's hard to hold back anymore. I truly love you. That man don't fucking love you. That man want to rob you. That man want to hurt you because he mad you. You out here getting attention from somebody else. He mad he couldn't block you from getting attention. And I think he mad because of this masculine energy. He mad these love spells ain't fucking working. They backfiring. He the one obsessed over you instead of vice versa. Yeah, he was trying to tempt you. He just wanted you to be all obsessed over him. But no, sir. No son, no ma'am. No beef, no ham, no turkey. These people ain't getting shit they wanted out the deal, honey. Spiritual elevation over all this, okay? You are above the bullshit, all right? Okay, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I hope we got all we need out of this energy for right now because uh, we keep picking up on this energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, is this it? This person stalking you. So that's probably why it's coming up. This person could be watching the readings. This person could be getting readings. That's why it's still coming up. They don't want to accept their fate. They hate that you're victorious. They hate that you're hardworking and you're still going towards the bad because you're going to make all your wishes come true. That's what they were trying to stop for you in the past. So, yeah, this person's piss, piss pot pole probably got a disease from his hole and want to come knock on your door. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm on today. <laughs> all right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. We'll go ahead and close this out and we'll get into another one. So, meet me in the next one.